Hello, hello, my lovelies. How are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are having a lovely day. Um, so today I have an exciting new video for you. I will be doing my first impressions on the new iPad Air that I got for my birthday. Ah! It is the new iPad Air. Um, I think it's fourth generation rose gold. And uh, I wanted to record a little video reviewing um, this product from my experience and also using Procreate for the first time. And yeah, I wanted to share that with you. So before we get started into today's video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content from yours truly. And yes, all right, let's get started with the review. So first impressions, uh, opening the box. Of course, I will be real with y'all. I did open this before uh, filming on my actual birthday because I was just too anxious to look at the box. But um, so it was really really nice it's a very sleek and uh thin compact ipad um it has a really good weight to it i don't know what it is about it but it feels just very nice in the hands um and i also got the apple pencil to work with procreate and the this apple pencil i think it's the second one it has a really nice grip on the hands so it has kind of angled edges in order for you to have a nice grip while drawing which i thought was really really uh useful and helpful and y'all know I'm not like a tech reviewer. I'm not really a techie kind of person. So keep that in mind just as a disclaimer that I am not like super technically oriented, but I did want to share this from an artist's perspective of how the iPad is working for me so far. And so far it's going great. Like really what I just wanted was to have a nice big surface to draw on. This size was really good. Um, I ended up getting the 64 gigabyte for the iPad. I was going to get the, um, I think it was 248, but it was a lot more expensive. And honestly, I was thinking like, I will just transfer my, um, my drawings to my computer if I need more storage or I can just upload it to iCloud and honestly I think it's a better deal to get the 64 gigabytes and it works perfectly and also I decided to choose the iPad Air instead of the iPad Pro because of course one for the cost <laughs> and honestly when I went to the Apple store and I was comparing the two iPads I really didn't see much of a difference it was really just the size and um, I think there is a higher processing speed on the iPad Pro but honestly for me I was like if as long as it gets the job done that's all I need like <laughs> Y'all know I'm not a huge like digital art kind of person, so uh, this really just worked perfectly for me. And since I'm just now getting into digital art, I think it's a great iPad for, um, I would say beginners and even like intermediate digital artists. Only really um, may it might come to a concern if you are doing a lot of like heavy animation and a lot of layers that requires um, a lot more higher processing speed. So that is when I would take that into consideration which one is going to work better for you. But honestly, for me, uh, y'all know the art that I do, and if you don't, follow me on Instagram at Kim Miles. <laughs> but this really just worked well for me and in my budget range. So that's pretty much all I have to say about the iPad. I really like using the pencil with it. I think I'm also going to get the papier um, sheet on top that allows it to like feel more like paper. That'll probably be a future investment, but yeah. This was also my first time using Procreate, which was very exciting. Um, honestly, this app is really freaking great <laughs> for its cost it's, it's only ten dollars and it has so many awesome functions and uh, brush materials they have the auto record option um, where you can it records your drawings for you which is really really sick so just a few things that i wished were different about i would say procreate more than the ipad because i mean the ipad it got the job done i can't really say much <laughs> Maybe in the future, I'll be able to talk more about it the more I use it. But for now, that's pretty much all I have to say about the iPad. But for Procreate, I really wish there was just like an opening tutorial on the app to show how different functions work, how to use like quick commands, because I was really lost on how to do a lot of the initial steps and how to quickly and easily like undo, redo, um, add a new layer, like those quick commands that I know it's like swipe left or tap three times, I don't know. <laughs> the program was really good for what it uh, has. Um, 
It has a lot of different like customization options where you can customize your brushes and some really, really interesting effects that I still have yet to get into. But the main things that were kind of um, bothersome to me were like, I didn't really know what I was getting into. Of course I can watch a YouTube tutorial, but it's always kind of nice to have just an opening tutorial on the like preface of the app. But overall, I think this app is really good for um, digital artists, of course. Y'all know, I mean, most digital artists now use Procreate. But uh, for me, <laughs> I have to remember that digital art takes me a lot longer to get used to and to get my style to translate better because as y'all could see in the first few minutes of the drawing footage i was really really struggling with trying to make it look right <laughs> like as y'all could see i pulled one of my paintings aside to just see as a reference like how do i paint what is my style because of course switching to a whole new medium you have to figure out how you can translate your same kind of style traits into a new flow. I kind of got a little throwback to middle school <laughs> because I used to have a really, really old iPad in like middle, in middle school, I had like a really old iPad and um, I remember I was trying so hard to do digital art and it just was not looking good. Like it was not good. Um, and I got so frustrated with it. So I just stopped even trying it for a long, long time and now i have to kind of rebuild that confidence that i know that just with some practice that i'll be able to get used to the tools but of course traditional feels so much different than or digital feels so much different than traditional art so this the final piece i'm still not entirely happy with it because i don't know just something about it i wish i could have done more but honestly I mean, I am pretty proud of it for my first like full digital art piece, but uh, I know there's a lot more to do to grow, to get used to using this platform. And I also really want to get into animation, which would be really exciting. So y'all can follow me on the journey of me growing with this iPad and with this program, because right now, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> like, I don't know how this works, but that's kind of like the beauty of trying out a new thing and just seeing where it goes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching my video. I know this is a little bit shorter than usual, but I honestly didn't really have much to say. <laughs> it was more to just show uh, my initial like impressions of the iPad and Procreate. I hope you all enjoyed. Feel free. Don't forget to leave a comment um, if you did enjoy the video. If you'd like to see more videos of me exploring with digital art, I would love to make that for you. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Turn on that post notifications bell. Follow me on Instagram at Kama Miles to stay up to date with my daily updates and my art. You can see it in a high resolution. And if you'd like to further support me more, I do have my Etsy shop linked in the bio so you can purchase some prints if you uh, fancy what you see, you know? <laughs> Alrighty, I hope you all have a lovely day. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Love you.